a lot of factors, of course, if you're really hooked on a particular podcast, you're probably going to want to make an appointment with yourself to hear it because you want to know how it, what happens next. Or, but I, I venture to say that except for people who are not able to do something else while they're listening, that most podcast listening is done by people who are taking a walk, taking a drive, uh, involved in some kind of mindless uh, activity which occupies the rest of their body and which allows the listening part of, of their mind to really be with the story. I, I suspect there's something like that that's going on. Uh, in the early days of podcast, and I mean really early days of podcasting, 2004, uh, we would hear from people who would uh, be at their keyboard <laughs> because they had heard it on their computer and they had downloaded it. And they had downloaded it when they were interested, not when you said, uh, our broadcast is 8.15 to 8.30, and if uh, you are not tuned in on your radio station to get it, screw you. Uh, you know. And when I was doing broadcast shows, we rarely hear from people, even if it was a very controversial subject. They would either say, I heard the piece you did about the situation in Gaza, and you're an idiot, I hate you, or good for you, I agree with you completely. There wasn't communication, really. With podcasting, you would hear from people who would say, this reminds me of something that happened to me. And they would tell you their story. So it was a good, very different kind of beast. Uh, nowadays, it's different. And I don't quite know. I don't know that there are many podcasts that are interested in building a community uh, with the active participation of their listeners. So who knows? But I, I'd say that Basically, you listen to something because you want it to take you away and take you to some place where you like to be. And you don't necessarily know where that place is, but you know it when you when you hear it, right? You know, it's like it's like what was they said about pornography, right? Trust yeah. this cured or whatever. Yeah. There. Um, so uh, my guess is that podcasting is becoming well certainly its own thing now and it wasn't what it was to begin with and i rarely listen to podcasts myself now because in some kind of way there's so many of them that are all so interesting and so good that i have to make the kind of choice i don't want to have to make which is take this one and, and lose the rest you know there's not enough time that that's a strange kind of pressure i, I won't want to stumble into a story that somebody is telling me that i can get absorbed by because i'm taking a walk or because I'm falling asleep at night, you know, and I'm listening to, I think a lot of people may do that as well. They, they go to sleep to podcasts. Uh, it's been fascinating to see it grow. I mean, 2004 to about 2010, couldn't get anybody to sit still for you to talk to them about how great podcasting was or was going to be. I drove my wife crazy. She said, you can talk about podcasting for 20 minutes once a week. <laughs> And forget about the rest of it. Uh, now I, it's, you know, well, now it's like broadcast. In, in a way, it's sort of taking the place of uh, regular listening or viewing. 